when using a spindle moulder, we should only use limited cutter projection tooling. This type of tooling reduces the risk of kickback and the severity of injury should the operator's hand come in contact with the tool. We can clearly see here that the cutter is no more than 1.1mm bigger than the chip limiter which is there to stop kickback and to reduce injury should contact happen. Here we see an aluminium uh, euro block and we're going to change the cutters in this and the limiters. Um, here we can see the cutter, the wedge block and the limiter. We're going to use uh, an allen key and one with the orange T handle is far more comfortable uh, to use. We need to loosen off the allen bolts inside the wedge block. These can often become uh, full of resinous timber or the resin from the timber and quite sticky so we need to try and keep these clean if possible. We need to undo the allen bolt sufficiently for the wedge block to slide out. Here we can see the wedge block. Once this is out we can see how the cutters and the limiters are held in place. We can see two holes. They're 6mm, 24mm apart and they are what locates the cutter in the correct position. We do the same on the other side, so loosening off the allen bolts inside the wedge block. See there it's a little bit sticky. Once it's loosened off we can slide the wedge block out, out comes the cutter, out comes the limiter. New set going in and here we can clearly see the cutter is slightly bigger than the limiter. The block always runs in an anti-clockwise direction when we look down on top of it, so the limiter goes in first, followed by the cutter itself. They locate on the 6mm pins that are inside the block. We can then slide back into it the wedge block and when we tighten this up we can see how the wedge block pushes outwards and forces the cutter and the limiter onto the block itself. We don't need to over tighten these as the centrifugal force will hold it all in place once it's up and running. Repeat the same on the other side. So again, the limiter goes in first, followed by the cutter. Slide the wedge block up inside it and then tighten it sufficiently. Again you'll notice I tighten one bolt, then the other, and then repeat that just to make sure that both sides are nice and tight. And there we have it, the changed cutters in a Euro block.